Hey, I want to do a quick review video and show you this Astro AI portable fridge refrigerator. Now, full disclosure, they did send it to me for review, but these are my own opinions. So this whole thing is a refrigerator or a freezer, depending on what you set the thermostat to. It's actually running right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but I have it set to zero degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll show you the inside in a second but it is frozen inside of there. And what's great about this is that you can take it wherever you want to go. And uh, for us, we like the shape of this because um, it fits between the front and middle seats in our van. And while we're going on a road trip, if we need to reach in there and get anything, we can go ahead and do that. The, the way that this lid opens is that it opens this way, um, not, not on the side like here. So uh, that we do like the shape on this. Uh, but you can take this wherever you wanna go, put it in the back of your car, put it in your car. On the side, you have a control panel. One of the main things is what the temperature is currently showing. And then you can set the thermostat to a wide range of things, all the way down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So a wide range of what you can set this thermostat to. And then it'll eventually stop blinking and show you what the current temperature inside is. Besides the temperature, there's not much on this display. It shows you the voltage on the input as well as the max, if it's in max or eco mode. And then what that is, is how much power draw it's gonna use to run the compressor and cool this thing down. So if you wanted that max rate, you leave it on max and that's about a, about a 60 watt draw uh, to go as fast as possible. And then there's eco mode, which you can switch to with this button over here to uh, use about half that power. And of course you have an on off button up here. So one thing I wanted to know was if the temperature displayed here was accurate or not. And so I'm using my wireless thermometer to uh, test that out. And I've been running this for about nine hours and checking it throughout the day. And I, I've been encouraged. It's actually been very, very close to, or if not the same number as what's on the screen. So uh, that's, that's very good, very accurate display on what the temperature is inside of here. To power this fridge, it comes with a wall AC. It also comes with a 12 volt adapter here that you can plug into your car port. And I've actually been running it off this power station for close to 10 hours now, and it works uh, just great. And this cord that it uh, comes with is like 12 feet long. So if you have this in your car or in the back of the car, uh, you're probably gonna be able to reach where this needs to go if you're gonna run it off your car battery. This freezer requires no assembly. I like the handles here on the side. They don't stick out too far, and yet I feel like I'm uh, you know, gripping this thing really well when I'm holding it. it. It's very solid, and it's fairly lightweight when there's nothing in here. This whole thing weighs about 36 pounds. And something I like about the top here is that you don't have to put a lot of pressure here to open this handle. So just a little bit of pressure, and it opens right up. So this is what the inside of the fridge looks like. There's a main compartment over here and a smaller compartment over here. This area right here, which is the main compartment, is controlled by the thermostat. And so what you would do is say, have your frozen stuff in here, and then this area over here is about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what's over here. And so if this is your frozen stuff, this would be sort of like your fridge stuff or things that you don't want to get frozen, you put them over here. Uh, it comes with this basket here, which is really nice to help you load and unload your items. Over here, there's a light so that you can see things in the dark. It has a chain over here so the lid can stay upright. And on the lid itself, it has weather stripping all the way around. And that goes on top of this plastic lip here to keep everything inside cool and insulated. So in terms of how loud this is when it's running, it's actually running right now. The compressor and the fan are running. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the microphone, it's down there. Um, I feel like it's pretty quiet. So overall, this Astro AI portable freezer has been quiet, accurate, and it fits really well in my car. Again, this is the 55 liter version. And so if you're looking for something like this, you might wanna check this guy out. And finally, one feature I didn't mention before is that part of the reason why there's a voltage display on here is if you're running it directly from your car on your car battery, you can see what the voltage is. And if you use the settings button here, there's some settings you can get into where you can turn this thing off at a certain level of voltage so that you don't run your car battery down too low to the point where you can't start it again. And so uh, I don't know how many people are gonna use that feature, but it does exist and you can see the input voltage.